question, member for Trinity Spadina. To the uh, ministers, uh, Minister of Training, Colleges and University. Later today, the University of Toronto Governing Council, without even holding a vote, as I understand it, will impose a new flat fee structure for students in the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. Starting in September, students who take only three courses will be forced to pay for five courses. This will increase tuition fees by a staggering 66 per cent. Does the minister support this plan? Sure. Mr. Speaker, I'm very proud that our government has worked very hard to make sure that post-secondary education is affordable for students in the province of Ontario. Over the past number of years, we have worked to cap tuition and at the same time put forward one of the most generous student assistance programs in the country. Some of the changes that we brought in about a year ago have addressed a variety of concerns that were brought forward to us from student groups and organizations. It's very interesting, Mr. Speaker. We did an exercise, which I'm very happy to share with members, where we looked at a child, a student from a family that was earning $70,000 a year. Mr. Speaker, when we uh, took office, that student, if he went away to study, would have received about $4,000 in loans. Under our program, he would receive $12,000, the same student, in a combination of loans and and grants. Bravo. Speaker, I'm not sure how this blah blah blah, or to put it more delicately, this blather is going to help students. But on the ground, university education is becoming less and less affordable for Ontario students who pay the highest fees in Canada and shoulder the heaviest debt load. Exactly. Over 4,000 students, parents, faculty, and alumni have voiced their opposition to the U of T flat fee model because it penalizes students. Why won't the minister show some leadership and require the University of Toronto and all Ontario universities to end this unfair flat fee? Minister. Mr. Speaker, I, I quite frankly find it galling that a member of a party, yeah. when they were in power, who cut student aid by 48 per cent and allowed tuition to Shame. increase by 50 per cent, would stand up and say that our efforts would stand up and do nothing short but applaud our efforts to make sure that education, post-secondary education in the province of Ontario is affordable. Mr. Speaker, we have a tuition framework in place which limits tuition increases at colleges and universities. If colleges and universities do take advantage of that, they have to provide additional funding and support to students who are in need. Mr. Speaker, I am proud of the fact that in the province of Ontario, we have the most generous student assistance program in the country, which is benefiting students and has seen an additional 140,000 students at our colleges and universities. I have no lessons to take from a member. Thank you. New question, the member from Guelph. First, thank you, Mr.